Hi guys, I wanted to show you this new kind of yarn uh, that's come out and you can knit or crochet it. Um, I figured since my channel is mostly crochet now, I would show you how to crochet this kind of scarf. So it uh, is worked up pretty easily. Oh, come on, stupid light. <coughs> and it comes just like this and a big old ball and it's tied together usually by some means but it's basically comes like this and you can see the actual yarn looks you work in these little holes here and this uh, scarf works up so fast, unbelievably fast, and I'll put pictures up on the video so that you can see what it looks like once it's made. But I made this and I kid you not, like maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes, something like that. And it's just, it's beautiful. Um, I know out here in Israel, it's not the same as the States. This one is uh, called a reggae or a reggae yarn. And I can give you the picture and the color lot if you want for this brown one that I have here. But uh, I know in the States, I've seen a video already. It's called uh, Bellini. Bellini yarn. So if you like this kind of yarn and you want to try to make a scarf out of this stuff, then go to your yarn store and ask for Bellini yarn. And it just basically, you have to unroll it, try to find the end of it. it takes a little bit of searching, but it is in around again and again. Oh, here we go. Looks like there's some kind of connection going here. My last one had a, uh, like a little tie. This one just looks like they've wrapped this around. So I guess it can be a trick trying to find the end of this thing. There we go. They just tied it around. Okay, so this is one of my ends. Okay, so I can find my end, one of my ends here. I'm just going to put the rest of it like this in my lap or on the floor. It doesn't matter. Hopefully it will come to another knot. And you take your 5 millimeter hook is what I'm using. I don't know if it would make it a little longer if you used another. And they have a little extra bit here. You can cut it when you're done. Now I've seen the Bellini site have uh, its own way they say take some of it and then start down here and then you can feed it or something rather I don't know exactly because uh, I didn't like it so I found my own way of working it and I thought I would share it with you so what I do I take one of the ends and one that's not broken because this one's broken now just put it in there stick it in there then go to the next one, going in from the front, put that one on your hook. Then going into the next one, put that one on your hook. And then one more time. Now you've got four loops on your hook, and all you did was just put your hook in there. Now you take this one, and you pull it through these other three loops. And that's your first one. And you just feed it on your hook again. One, find the next one. Going from the front. Two, find the next one. Three. Again, I have four loops on my hook. And that's what I want. Every time I want four loops. And I want to take the last stitch that I put on here and feed it through these other three loops just like that. And then you just do it again. 
takes some time to unravel and twist the yarn and everything. But again, just go through the front, just like you were grabbing up a loop. Just push it through the front to the back. And there's three on my hook. Go to the next. It's four on my hook. Then I just pull this hook. I mean, the last loop I have on my hook through the other three. That's it. And you just repeat this for the whole amount of the scarf. And this one, I believe, uh, and I'll, as I said, I'll show you pictures of it, is a good length. It's about the length of the, the mesh uh, net scarves that I made. But if you want a really long scarf that, you know, um, even when you fold it in half and then put it on your neck and you can, uh, you know, fold it like I did my other ruffle scarf and still have this long amount laying down, then instead of doing three, I mean, instead of doing four on the hook, like we did here, you would only have three, and then do it every three, and then you'll pull. But I think every four is a better, and then when you wear it, it has more of a fuller look. So anyway, the other thing I was going to tell you is, because the scarf works up so fast, that you can try it this way first, and if it's a good length for you, um, then keep it that way. And if not, you can just let it go. And it's so easy to unravel these things. And just, um, you know, do it again because it's like 10 minutes. And if you happen to lose where you are, like your hook drops or something, what you want to do is you want to look for, for, You want to look for that. See, it, it's fallen, but if you look, see, there's still a hook. I mean, there's still a loop here. It's black, so it's hard to tell. So if you can, if you lose your way, lay your project flat on something, and then just do your best to, you know, just try to unravel it and look for that loop that's still sticking out. And then just stick your hook through it. And it'll prevent it from you having to do the whole thing all over again. And the beginning is pretty solid. You don't have to do any extra tying on the end. But on the other end, I'll show you how to end one of these scarves. And like I said, if it's too short, I usually um, do the same thing with my ruffle scarf. I'll take, let me see if I can get a little more here. I take my, this is just a single. I'll take it, I'll fold it in half, just like I do with my uh, mesh scarves. Fold it in half like this, then I put my neck here, and then I'll do the same thing. I'll put one of the, I'll put one of these through, and then the other one through the other side like this. It's through the same loop, because obviously, this is the loop of the, the scarf here and these are your two loose pieces and all you're doing is using this loop here and you're putting one through it and then you'll go over and go back like this and then your head is here and you get this nice full fullness here and I like I said it's not real incredibly long it's just really full like uh, the other ruffle scarves were so if you want a look like that, then you'll want to do exactly how I'm showing you here, using four. But like I said, if you want to have it really, really long, then feel free to do just three. You know, when you get three on your loop, just pull through the two. And maybe it's a, a better look for you. Like I said, it works up so fast. It's easy enough to go to the end, see if you like it, and then back up and do it again. I mean, it's 15 minutes of your time. And uh, that's it. I'll keep working this, and when I get to the end, I'll show you how to finish it off. 
Okay, I just got done uh, with my last gathering of four, and then I go through three, and I have these two left. So what I'm going to do is go ahead, because I only want one on the end. Since I had two, I'm just I just went ahead and pulled it through the loop here. Now, get my scissors. I'm going to cut this loose on this side. And actually, since it's kind of short on this end, I am going to go ahead and undo that one as well. I just want to have a nice tie on the end. So, I'm going to get my single string here. And I'll just pull it right through my loop here. I used my needle. And then just tie knots. Tie about three knots. One, two, and three. Now I like to get the ends and do this only when you're sure that this is the size that you want. Then I get my ends here. I have this extra bit. I just want to even them up a little bit. Cut a little bit on this side, cut a little bit on this side. Just so my ends don't look funny. And that's it. That's how you make one of these uh, boa scarves. And like I said, Bellini has this yarn in the state. So if you're looking for them, looking for this kind, then you can look up Bellini. Or you can look up uh, reggae, because that's what it is in the, on the outside of my paper. And I'll show you a picture of that on my Facebook blog. Anyway, that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and that you can make one of these very easy, simple boa scarves. Thanks for watching.